Risk and reward, the two concepts that have been a part of the wilderness since its inception. The more you're willing to lose, the greater your spoils become. May the stakes now be made even greater with Old School RuneScape's first world boss, Wrathmaw. This monstrously large foe will sport an enormous health pool in the tens of thousands and will have a chance to spawn almost anywhere in the wilderness. This includes singles as well as multi. The boss being in singles will act like the dead man mode breaches where multiple people can attack the boss at the same time. This will give options to players who would rather kill the boss in singles or would prefer things a little more hectic in multi. The amount of times per day this boss can spawn will be limited to three times on five worlds. The mechanics of the Wrath Maw are not set in stone yet, but you can expect the attacks to be well telegraphed and easy to avoid. Looking into rewards, Wrathmaw has a participation-based system with four tiers. Dealing more damage to the boss puts you at a higher tier, increasing your reward. That reward will be the Teeth of Wrathmaw. The amount of teeth received is one for low participation, four for medium, ten for high, and twenty teeth will go to the MVP. These teeth have three purposes the ability to amplify certain items being sold in the shop for uniques, and the option to turn them into Revenant Ether. If you choose to turn your teeth into Ether, it will be around 2,000 Ether per tooth. Now let's talk about some of the things you can buy from the shop with these teeth. The Amulet of Wrath. This amulet costs one tooth and is fairly straightforward, giving the stats of an Amulet of Glory while also having a 15% damage boost to the boss itself. Additionally, you'll be able to use the check option on the amulet to see where the boss's location is if one is active in the world. To charge the amulet, you'll need to insert 5,000 Revenant Ether inside to make it work. In PvP, the amulet is always lost on death, with 3,750 of the Ether going to the PKer and 1,250 Ether disappearing. There's also going to be a new teleport tablet in this shop. These teleports cost one tooth for five tabs and give the special ability to tele anywhere in the wilderness. Yes, even beyond 30 wild. However, you'll need to have been out of any form of combat for 20 seconds, and the animation for this teleport is about 5 seconds long, so if it gets interrupted, you'll be out of luck. Finally, before the big rewards, let's go over the blighted Ceridoman bruise. I personally have always held the opinion that the only time you should be losing money in the wildy is if you die, not from the use of supplies. Blighted items in the past have helped greatly with this, and so the blighted bruise are here to keep that trend going. Let's get into the amplifiers. The teeth have powerful energy, with 1,000 of them being used to make an amplifier that combines two of the same weapon, giving them a special effect. There are three weapons that will be eligible for this amplifier. The Armadale Godsword special attack will go from double to triple accuracy. The Dark Bow gains an increased attack speed as well as losing its max hit cap, and the accuracy of the Volatile Nightmare Staff spec goes from 50% to 150%. Other notable amplifications would be the combination of the Tome of Fire and the Mage's Book to give a hybrid version that gives 18 mage accuracy, 2 mage damage, as well as the Tome of Fire elemental boost. There's also the Trinity Ward, a Malediction Ward, Odium Ward, and whatever this thing's called, all combined together to make a formidable item for tribe ridding. Well, that just about does it for everything on the Wildy World Boss. As always, my name's Poison Potion, or PP for short, and you'll probably be seeing me at the Wrath Maw, slowly waiting for your health to deplete, so that I can pull out my D-Claws and end your life. Never trust me.